Hi, I'm Jay Andrews with Laguna Tools. Today we're going to introduce to you the brand new Generation 2 Smart Shop 2 CNC machine. We've gone through and redesigned the machine from head to toe and we've kept a lot of the great features that have made this an outstanding machine and one of our most popular machines for years. We'll go through and cover all the different details, all the new points. We'll cover all the basic features if you're new to the Smart Shop 2 and then we'll go through and cut a project for you on the machine today. Now the foundation for any quality CNC machine is a heavy frame that's very rigid and we've redesigned the Smart Shop 2 frame from the ground up. The uh, material is now thicker and the frame is more compact than ever to give it a, a very rigid and tight footprint in your shop. The frame itself has been redesigned as well as the gantry. The new gantry on the Smart Shop 2 is an all steel design. It means it's a lot more durable and rigid than the previous gantry design and the gantry is now driven by a direct drive system that goes into the constant mesh helical rack and pinion. We use the helical rack and pinion on the X and Y axis. That allows us to accelerate the machine a little bit faster and you don't run into problems like you would with ball screws on lesser machines. Well, next up is the table and this is the work surface of the machine. We've redesigned the entire thing and have added in these T-slots that go the entire length of the table. Now these are perfect for clamping items down with T-clamps or to uh, go through and clamp jigs and fixtures and things like that in there for a variety of different types of projects. Over at the edge we've added these covers and those cover the rack and pinion and the linear guide so that you don't get dust and debris down into those items. It is a vacuum table and so we've got the four different zones up here that we can turn on or off with the valves and we've remachined the grid system that's on the top so that it now can accept vacuum pods. And there's a variety of different types of vacuum pods in the marketplace. Here's two different examples from BBC and from Schmaltz. And these will plug right into the grid of the table and allow you to pull vacuum up to the top through the valve and to raise your workpiece up off of the table. Now to help you position your workpieces onto the table, the machine has always had pop-up pins and now these are adjustable pop-up pins where this front one can slide back and forth in the extrusion on the front. You've got two more that are on the side and this lets you locate a part up in the corner of the machine. We've also moved the switch up to the control panel to make it easy and that'll allow you to go through and set your pop-up pins in the up position, put your stock against it and then drop them down out of the way. One of the areas that we had a close look at was improving dust collection on the new Smart Shop 2 and we've redesigned the dust hood to make it tighter to the spindle and then we've also added the overhead support for your dust collection hose and this has really improved dust collection greatly. Now to make the Smart Shop 2 just a little bit easier to use we put the cabinet on wheels so you can move it around your shop and we've added a longer cable to it so you can position it in a wider range of positions. Well we've gone through and covered a number of features that are new for this generation of Smart Shop 2 but let's talk about a few things that define the Smart Shop 2. What is a Smart Shop 2? Well first of all it's a machine that's got a vacuum table an automatic tool changer and that's kind of the the basis for the machine. Now this is a 4x8 we also offer it in 4x4, 5x10, 5x12 and other sizes uh, upon request. The spindle is an Italian made spindle. This is done by HSD and is considered to be one of the best spindles in the world. It's an automatic tool changing spindle. We use an 8 position bed mounted tool rack at the rear of the machine to house your tools. This uses a standard ISO 30 uh, tool holder cone to do the tool changes. Now up at the control side, we use a BNR controller. BNR is an Austrian control company that manufactures what we think is one of the best controllers on the planet. One of the great features that I've always loved about the Smart Shop 2 is just how easy it is to service and to operate. Maintenance is really easy. There's a centralized lubrication system here. One quick pump will lubricate all three axes of the machine. Now let's have a quick step to the rear of the machine to look at a few of the components in the back. Here at the rear you're going to notice the eight position tool rack that we spoke of. You've got the tool holder clips all in one line. You'll see that there's an automatic tool touch off station here in the rear as well. And to make tool changes a breeze we've added in a tool changing station that holds the wrench and your tool holder cones as you're doing a tool change. This is the control cabinet for the Smart Shop 2 and it features a lot of great elements, particularly one that we're very proud of and that's the uh, industrial controller that we get from B&R Automation. 
BNR is a global powerhouse when it comes to machine controls. They're a half billion dollar company. Uh, it comes to us from Austria and we go through and design all the routines and codes and the reason that we selected them is it's a powerful controller and it gives us a lot of options in terms of connectivity. We can put jobs in through a simple USB stick, we can connect an ethernet cable so you can network it to your system, or you can plug it into a Wi-Fi hub and get jobs to the machine wirelessly. Now the nice thing about this controller is it's got a ton of power as we just mentioned, but it doesn't take a computer scientist or a programmer to be able to operate the machine. A simple uh, course in terms of the machine controls and operations when we do your setup and training will be all that you need to get up and running with the smart shop. Now I'm gonna go ahead and power this up and we're gonna run a job. I think we'll go ahead and do a sign job today on the machine, but of course you can run cabinets or any types of parts that you like. Um, let's go ahead and get it powered up and have a watch. Now that we've got the Smart Shop 2 powered up, let's have a look at a few of the basic screens that you'll see on the controller. This will be the home screen that you'll see here, and it'll tell you what job is active or programmed into the machine to start with. From here, you can home the machine. You can also see the coordinates and set the different workplace coordinates on the machine. You can scroll forward or back to um, various screens. You can verify the origin of your project. If you need to retract the dust hood and have it go up and down, it's just a simple click of the button to raise and lower the dust hood on the machine. You can park a particular tool, check your code. This will show you the overrides on the machine, and this will tell you the percentage of speed that your spindle is going, that the feed rate of the machine is doing, and what the rapid speeds are. In your software, you'll go ahead and set the spindle speed and the feed rate for the project that you're doing, and if you're cutting that job and it seems like it's cutting a little bit too fast and you want to slow it down, you can take it from 100% down to 95, 90, or whatever you need to do. But you can also bump it up and override it a little bit if you set the job initially too slow and you wanted to speed it up. We can go back to the um, home screen here. Uh, on the manual, uh, the manual screen, you'll see that there are manual movements that you can make. You can move any access. You can move them at 100% speed, or you can change that to 50, 10, or 1% if you're just going through and positioning the machine. The program screen will let you access programs either from the USB stick that we talked about or from the internal memory inside the controller. These are the jog buttons that allow you to position and move the spindle around and move the gantry around. The alarm button will let you view the status of the machine. If you have any types of alarms, it'll bring those up and let you know what they are so you can go back and reset the machine. The tool menu will tell you which tool is active in the machine. It'll tell you the tool length. You can actually go through and program the machine for tool wear if you've had the tool sharpened. You can do a tool touch off by clicking this button and letting it uh, touch off the tool to teach the tool length. The start button will start any active program. You can hit hold at any point in time just to stop a job and to restart it. Or if you need to hit stop to completely stop a job, you can do that with the stop button. That gives us a basic walkthrough of the BNR controller. There's a lot more detail that we can get into when we do your setup and training on your machine. There's a few other features that are up here on the top of the control box. One of them is the uh, position pins that we talked about. The other one is the vacuum pump. And you can have a single or dual vacuum pumps with this machine and they're controlled right here through the onboard switches at your control cabinet. One of the great things about BNR is it's not just a controller that you'll see on the outside of the cabinet but it's also the components that are inside the cabinet that are part of a matched package. From BNR Automation, we've got the controller that you'll see on the outside, the drives, the IOs, and other components that this talks to to make sure that your machine operates very smooth. Everybody knows that electronics are sensitive to dust and vibration, and that's why we chose to put all of the electronics in the control cabinet to keep them away from the dust and vibration of a machine. We don't mount them to the side of the machine like lesser machines do. We also go through and put fans on the control cabinet to keep a steady stream of fresh air going through the cabinet to maintain the temperature inside the control cabinet. This ensures years of reliable service from your electronics. Well, that completes a walkthrough of all the different features of the machine. Let's put this 12 horsepower spindle to the test by doing a nice sign job. Let's go ahead and get a spoil board on here, some sign foam, and let's carve it up.
Wow, that really came out fantastic. I really enjoy carving this sign foam because it's a kind of a lightweight material that carves so well. We've had a chance now to see the Smart Shop 2 in terms of the features as well as the machine in action carving up this fantastic sign. If you've got any questions on the Smart Shop 2 or any of our machines, look us up on the web at lagunatools.com, give us a call toll free at 800-234-1976 or go over to our YouTube channel and have a look at all the videos that we've got there and don't forget to subscribe.